What's going on guys, Rolandos here. So I came across this article completely by accident. I promise you. I was going to work and Google decided uh, to throw on my face this article. Balding Block spends 5,000 pounds on hair transplant to transform from Dracula Nani? to Beckham. And what caught my eye is the actual person on the picture. This guy was inspiration of mine to start actually looking into hair transplants to get one for myself. So I decided to react to it together with you. And also I'll talk to you about how I actually decided to get started into, you know, even looking into hair transplants and turning my hair loss from this to this. So make sure to watch all the video. Don't skip. And also click that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me on hair transplants and hair loss. From this to this. Balding Block spends 5,000 pounds on hair transplant to transform from Dracula to Beckham. Why Dracula? Hmm. Do you know? If you know, let me know in the comments down below because I have no idea. So this is the guy I saw on one of the Facebook groups. I think it was called Blumen Facebook Community Group, something like that, uh, where a lot of guys basically sharing, you know, their, how they styling the hair. Cliche, isn't it? I didn't have hair. I was Norwood Fiverr back then. And I was mainly trying to find some good comb-overs. <laughs> what else I can do? By the way, this is the picture <laughs> I posted in this group myself. Uh, yeah, when I was trying to rock the comb-over. And at that time I was feeling like it looks absolutely amazing. And by the way, if you want to know exactly why I chose Dr. Ferreira over any other doctors and basically my whole mindset uh, towards hair transplant research, how exactly I did it, I will leave the link for this video in the description below where I'm going extensively about this topic. And also here in the top right corner. Jamie Robinson forked out on a hair transplant procedure after growing jealous of uh, celebs like David Beckham and uh, Harry Styles being able to switch up their hair dyes. Yeah, I bet a lot of guys are jealous of, uh, you know, David Beckham hairstyles over the years. Maybe except this one though. Not gonna be going into it. A man whose receding hairline left him looking like Dracula. I mean, I would love to have a hairline like a Dracula, I guess. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Still pretty good. Has revealed how he turned uh, to hair transplant surgery after cruel jokes chipped away at his confidence. Jimmy Robinson was desperate to style his hair like celebs, uh, hair drops David Beckham, Harry Styles and Justin Bieber. But instead found himself combing his hair forward in a bit to hide his, 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 thinning receding hairline. And this is the picture of him. Okay, so receding hairline. Yes, but it also looks almost like a mature hairline. Maybe not from this picture. Okay, maybe I'm taking my words back. It was going quite a bit. It was going towards Norwood 3, three and uh, okay, I, I see it. I would still kill anyone <laughs> for this hairline. At the time, there were all these uh, young lads like Justin Bieber, Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, all these blocks <laughs> were trying all these hairstyles. And I remember thinking it would be nice to at least have the option. The frustration was the option uh, being taken off me. Absolutely, I remember when I was simply stuck with a one single comb over. That's it. As a normal five, I'm covering my whole, you know, uh, bald spot and like uh, spraying a shitload of hairspray and praying to God uh, not to rain and be windy. Fun fact, if the wind was blowing from here, I was going like this. True story. The 27 years old confidence continued to plummet after work colleagues started bantering about his hair and making jokes about his hairline making him appear older. To me personally, it never happened. Nobody ever in my life made any jokes about my hair. Maybe because it was not receding a little bit, it was like totally gone. When I was working in a factory settings, uh, the little jabs uh, started coming from the lads. They said things like, how old are you now? One strong gust of wind and uh, that will uh, be gone. And, uh, all that sort of stuff, he said. I don't know, it's not really that bad. Like again, compared to me when I was like a Norwood 5 with a huge come over, that was me. I remember my like, it was like a flap. It was moving. <laughs> Big wind is like the whole thing is moving up and down. It was embarrassing. I don't even want to think what other people thought about me when they saw me walking on the street like, Anyways, moving back. Obviously with fellas it's just uh, us banter, but stuff like that uh, starts to make you think, is there something wrong here? Uh, looking back at the older pictures, I didn't think my, my god, it has gone back and uh, conditioned it nowhere near good enough. 
It mainly affected me in the sense that uh, I was limited to what hairstyles I could do. It affected my confidence as I didn't have the freedom to style it as I wanted and was limited to just one hairstyle. Yeah, it's great to have options. Certainly I understand now when uh, I got the option. Like right now, I need to see a barber. <laughs> didn't, uh, I didn't go to a barber for uh, over two months, so my head is growing pretty long. Last time over, two months ago, I did complete high skin fade on my donor just to see all the scars. So by the way, if you're curious how 6,540 FU scars looks like, check out the video just over here in the top right corner and also in the description below. But this is all growth. This is the growth for uh, two months, two and a half months. And the top I'm also growing a bit longer because I don't know, because why not? Let me try a longer hair to maybe try a slick back or something. And if that will not look great, I'm uh, just gonna go back to how I was looking at six months. The video in the description will be below. I'd never risk a surgery abroad because there would be no aftercare, so I just dismissed this idea. But one morning I was having breakfast, watching the telly. George Sampson was on this morning discussing hair transplants at Juvida Clinic. When I thought of hair transplants in England, I thought of Wayne Rooney spending 30,000 pounds in the Harley Street. But this was a 40 minute drive away in Skimpton and cost 5,495 pounds. Well, good for him. Just 12 months after having the procedure in August 2019, Jimmy was able to proudly style his locks in a variety of ways, sending his confidence through the roof. So much so that he also bagged himself a girlfriend. Please. I don't like reading those kind of things because this is simply not true. I understand guys can contribute everything like to hair, but this is not the case. I got together with my girlfriend exactly when I was like at my worst, Norwood 5A. And um, I've got more hair right now. Guess what? Nothing changed except my hair, which I like, by the way. Uh, I work with a lot of 40 and 50 years old uh, who had the attitude of just go bold gracefully. We are in an era now where men don't want to go bold. That's true. Nobody wants to go bald nowadays because there are options, you know? Just make sure to catch your hair loss early with appropriate medications like Finasteride and Minoxidil. And if you already lost something and uh, the medications doesn't regrow, then you got a transplant. Cover what's lost, job's done. Of course, make sure to consult a good doctor. Don't jump into a anything really quickly because in this industry, it's like you got pretty high chance, something like 90% to get really subpar, uh, you know, result in general. So be diligent, do a lot of research, uh, ask me any questions you want in the comments down below. So Jamie, if you're watching this video, thank you very much. I remember seeing your picture in this group where you've been like, I think three months after your uh, transplant, when like a little tiny hair started to grow and you were all like excited to, you know, start start styling uh, your hair in a different ways in, you know, in the near future. And I remember that got me thinking, wait a second, this guy looks like a, just a, regular dude, not like a celebrity. Hmm, if he can have a transplant, maybe I can. So this was my mindset and I started digging. I started looking, okay, hair transplant, or the cost, hair transplant in Turkey. And I started researching a lot about the subject and I realized I can have a transplant myself as well. I don't have to go around with this comb over. Of course, I did a lot of research, started medications, uh, went into the deep rabbit hole on the hair transplants and where I'm actually discussing everything in the video over here how exactly I researched and came to the conclusion to go to Dr. Ferreira, going through all the stages, uh, different doctors, especially Turkey, budget-wise and everything. Check it out. 